This video we are gonna see how to what is the recovery disk and how to use it. So we have the operation operating manual IRC integrators guide. And let's go to the recovery disk function. <coughs> Here it says that the recovery disk function is for recreating a complete installation of RoboWare and things directly to the SD card in the PC. So um, here we have the prerequisites. And um, this is for a system that is using a RoboWare 6 or later. We are going to do um, a recovery disk for a system that we migrated or upgraded to a RoboWare uh, 616, the latest one for the um, ARC controller. <coughs> And it says that you need to also you need to have an original SD card. This is we are gonna test a commercial one, uh, so we are gonna see if this is uh, mandatory or not. And we need to have a administrative rights on the computer. So let's uh, go to the Raw Studio. Here we have. A, the controller tab and under installation we have installation manager and then installation manager we're going to open this uh, app and we have here the recorded disk so let me show you what is going to appear when we open the recorded disk is the warning which says that never format the raw disk this is the sd card do not add any uh, visible partition on the raw disk um, this tool cannot restore a disk that has been formatted or manually modified do not run any disk this tools uh, defragmenter or disk checker on the raw disk and never use a this uh, other disk than the ABB raw disk or the SD card. I'm not going to check this because this is going to disappear. And even if you install or reinstall the raw studio, it's going to be hidden for next time you use if you check this box. So let me close this, jump directly to the uh, backup that we're going to use. So you have the option to use a, a backup or also you can use a um, clean disk. This is gonna um, create a, a disk that will be zeroed out and a boot application that will be installed. Uh, for this application, you have to install the new system. So make sure you have backups on, of your licenses files since uh, the, they will be erased from the disk. So well, we're not going to do that, but this is an option. So we're going to create the, the disk. Um, let me show you that I have, I have two different memories. These are not a uh, uh, ABB memories. This is uh, an adapter and is a micro SD card for gigabytes and we're going to use also a 16 gigabyte commercial uh, SD card. On this one we're going to create the recovery disk and on this one we are going to clone or use an image to clone the system that we have running on, on the machine. So we're going to try both. If you create a recovery disk, uh, once you change the memory, you are going to need to update the controller, the counters, sorry. And if you clone uh, using Ghost, uh, you don't you don't need to update the counters because that data is going to be the same, exactly the same that the machine has right now. So let's hit right disk. You need to be, you need to have the memory removed uh, uh one more thing that i haven't mentioned 
is that you need to go to autoplay in windows and <coughs> set the removable, removable drive uh, as a techno option and memory card as a, also as a techno option this is because the system needs to take a full control on the device that you or the memory you are going to insert so let's write disk i'm not gonna uh, create a report and now it's telling me that i have to insert the memory so let's insert there you go and now it's telling me that it's gonna override the content let's hit okay and there you go you have a um, assistant creation in process a recovery disk creation and once it's finished we're gonna test it on the robot but uh, before we do that we need to create the image or the clone uh, using the image we took it before or right after we let the machine run in after the upgrade we did so let's this finish okay now we can remove the memory so i'm going to close here and jump into the uh, ghost 32 i'm gonna insert the, the other memory 16 gigabytes and on the computer i'm gonna hold, go to local disk from image and i have the image right here Uh, one comment. So what we did to create this image, let me cancel. Previously, we set the options in image state. We set the option image all, which is uh, the option that is going to force sector by sector the copy of all partitions. Okay. This is because this uh, this memory has a different formal partition hidden partition that uh, if we do this in default mode is it not is not gonna work so let me go back and disk from image we're gonna select the let's select and now we have the memory available in the ghost 32 and we're gonna leave the partition and you see this is a 16 gigabytes of memory and it's gonna left 14 gigabytes meaning that it's using two gigabytes even the some sectors might not be may not have data but it's gonna copy the whole content okay let's create let's hit okay make sure that the, the memory has a right a protection disable uh, the memory or or the adapter in this case uh, as you see this is the right protection switch and we have it also on the uh, on the adapter or on the memory we have the same switch make sure this is a uh, set to our the left in this case okay okay it took a uh, five minutes or six minutes to complete the clock so let's uh, exit from here and go to the machine and test the both uh, memory okay so now we are at the machine the machine uh, just finished uh, uh, an hour of cycle we're gonna turn it off and replace the memory on the new on the controller, on the new controller that we have installed. So you see the machine has all the condition is running. 
and we are going to test the both memory the one that we made with the recovery disk and the one we cloned with using gold okay this is the current condition on the before we replace the memory the and the memory is right right there on the back the sd memory go to the main menu we are going to hit restart, we are going to hit advance and shut down the main computer. We are going to hit next and shut down. Acknowledge. Oh, okay, uh, I have to stop the auto cycle. The headstock is rotating, but uh, that is a different thing, right? Let me put it in manual. Knowledge and shut down. Okay, the controller has shut down. I'm gonna turn it off and replace the memory. So, this is the original memory. We're gonna test first the, <coughs> the micro SD with the adapter, and then we're gonna test the 16 giga, gigabytes uh, SD, okay? So now the system is running and uh, let's see what it does. Let's give it some time to finish and check on the flex panel. Here is trying to connect to the controller. This will take a couple of minutes. So let's check the controller. in the reboot process. So now the status is is okay. Uh, let's check the flex pendant. It's synchronizing with the controller now. This is taking about five minutes or so. So now it's rebooting again. Uh, let's give it some more time. So now we have uh, the device net connection. This that's why we have uh, the blinking condition there. Okay, it's about to finish. Okay, so now we have connection and uh, this is the recovery disk. Let's check the calibration. And you see, revolution counter not updated, so that's why we have the error here when we need to go here and do the calibration. But remember to do the calibration on the revolution counter. We have to uh, position the, the robot or the manipulator in the zero reference marks. Okay, so let me, let me show you that revolution counter not updated. So let's close here and reboot the or shut down again and replace the memory with the uh, memory that it was cloned okay controller has shut down and i'm gonna change the memory okay i already installed the the memory that we have cloned with the Ghost 32 and we have uh, the one we made with the recovery disk function on the Robo Studio and the original and it's 10, 10 15 and I'm gonna check it how long it takes the process. So as you see because this is a clone memory is like the one that is pres uh, was present before or the, the original one so let's check and it takes uh, just one minute uh, the, the usual time that it, it takes to reboot uh, when you have uh, uh, the original memory so let me go to calibration and okay because they moved the robot and we did a procedure 
we still have the so we still have to to do a revolution counter but both memory are working fine so let me that means that we don't need a ABB special memory the the manual says so let me restart advance shut down the computer next shut down and I'm gonna install back the original memory okay let's see now with the original memory that everything is working and uh, as it was and leave the machine running to the operator okay it's about to finish we already have the the connections with the device nets let me check the calibration and you see if we clone the memory in this condition if we made an, another clone or another image with the uh, actual memory and if we replace that memory we won't need to do the calibration so the calibration data is, uh, I can confirm that the calibration data is on the SD memory so meaning it, again if I clone this memory or create a, a new image and clone it in to another memory is gonna work as in the original one okay so now we're gonna leave the machine or release the machine to the operator all the conditions are met um, that's it thank you